Breast Cancer Prevention Methods Breast cancer Breast cancer can be defined as a disease that results from the growth of malignant cancer cells in the tissues that make up the breast, which may invade the surrounding tissues in some cases, and spread to other parts of the person's body. Breast cancer prevention It should be noted that there is no sure method that can be followed to avoid breast cancer, but changing some risk factors that may increase the chance of developing the disease may allow the way to reduce the chance of breast cancer, and of course this does not include certain factors such as age or gender female, these factors are out of control and cannot be changed, and besides that, it must be noted that there are a number of other steps that may contribute to reducing the risk of developing the disease for women who suffer from an increased risk of breast cancer, and this will be referred to later in this article. Breast cancer prevention for all women Most of the cancer cases are due to the influence of environmental factors and the lifestyle followed, which includes the type of food, exposure to sunlight, smoking cigarettes, exposure to environmental pollutants, obesity, suffering from stress, drinking alcoholic beverages, infection, and lack of movement activity. Only 5-10% of cancer cases are due to genetic causes. Diet and lifestyle There are a number of recommendations directed at all women without exception, and they include focusing on eating healthy, balanced food and exercising regularly, with the aim of preventing several health problems, such as diabetes, heart disease, and various forms of cancer, and talking about the relationship that links breast cancer to the system. The diet that the individual follows, there has been found a range of benefits that can be achieved by quitting alcoholic beverages, eating low amounts of saturated fats, paying attention to healthy food, and maintaining a healthy weight, and despite this, clear and definitive conclusions have not been reached in this area, there is no diet or specific type of food that prevents breast cancer. But it should be noted the importance of some foods in strengthening the immune system in the body, making the body healthier, and reducing the chance of cancer as much as possible, such as vegetables, fruits, whole grains and legumes, and diversifying food sources ensures that the body gets all the nutrients it needs, thus, improving physical and psychological health, and providing the energy that the body needs, in addition to that, Eating vegetables and fruits that have not been exposed to pesticides may help prevent changes in the cells of the body, and we must focus on the category of women in the stage of menopause, and draw attention to the need to avoid obesity and weight gain during this particular age period, which is due to the effect of obesity and weight gain in stimulating the body to increase the secretion of estrogen, which in turn contributes to an increase in the risk of certain types of breast cancer. It is worth noting that the individual should quit smoking as much as possible, and this is due to the presence of a number of evidence indicating a relationship between smoking and the risk of breast cancer, especially with regard to women before menopause, and regular exercise, whether moderate or severe, may contribute to reducing the risk of breast cancer, so the American Cancer Society recommends the importance of an adult individual getting at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise, or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise per week, or of both types together, and it is preferable that these exercises be distributed throughout the week. Reducing breast tissue exposure to estrogen produced by the body Reducing breast tissue exposure to estrogen may contribute to preventing breast cancer, as there are a number of different methods that may reduce the amount of breast tissue exposure to estrogen, including the following, breastfeeding. A woman's risk of developing breast cancer is low if she uses breastfeeding to feed her baby, compared to other women who have not breastfed, and this is due to the fact that estrogen levels in a woman's body are lower during the breastfeeding period. Early pregnancy, estrogen levels are lower during pregnancy, so women who carry a full pregnancy before the age of 20 have a lower chance of developing breast cancer compared to other women without children, or those who conceive for the first time after the age of 35 years. Reducing the dose and duration of hormonal therapy The use of a combination hormonal therapy for a period exceeding 3 to 5 years increases the chance of breast cancer, and here lies the importance of consulting a doctor to identify the best alternatives in the event of a need to use hormonal therapy, such as using it in order to control menopause symptoms, as alternative treatments can contribute to relieving menopausal symptoms, which may substitute for the use of hormonal therapy, such as non-hormonal drugs, but if the desired benefit from using hormonal therapy for a short period outweighs the risks of using it, the woman must use the lowest dose of hormonal therapy that has achieved the required effectiveness, taking into account the keenness to visit the doctor and remain under medical supervision throughout the period of undergoing hormonal therapy. 
Avoid birth control pills Women who smoke or over the age of 35 should avoid taking the contraceptive pill, as the risk of heart attack and stroke increases when women take birth control pills, especially women smokers. Not only that, taking birth control pills contributes to an increased risk of breast cancer. Slightly, but the risk will go away soon once you stop taking these pills, so in the event of severe concerns about breast cancer, it is advised to avoid taking birth control pills to reduce the risk of developing the disease, and in this regard it should be noted that the risk of infection for women who take the pill pregnancy at an early age is small compared to women who take it at an advanced age, and just as the contraceptive pill has harm, it also has benefits that are reflected in the health of women, so long-term use of birth control pills contributes to reduce the risk of colon cancer, ovarian cancer, and uterine cancer. Early breast cancer screening It is recommended for women to consult the doctor and discuss with him about the most appropriate time when they can start conducting breast cancer screening tests and examinations, such as clinical breast tests, mammography, and make a decision about what type of breast cancer detection strategy is appropriate for her condition. With the importance of discussing with the doctor about the risks and benefits of a method of detection breast cancer, and it is recommended that a woman conducts a procedure that the woman conducts a self-examination of the breast from time to time, and if she notices any strange sign, she must see a specialist, and when she notices a change, or the appearance of lumps, or any other abnormal signs in the breast, she must see a doctor and talk to him in as soon as possible. On the other hand, screening for breast cancer using mammography is feasible and helps save lives. Although it does not prevent cancer, it contributes to early detection of cancer, as the susceptibility of cancer to treatment is greater in its initial stages. Regular mammography for most women at the age of 40, but there are certain recommendations that differ according to the risk of developing the disease and the age of the woman, and this can be explained as follows. The age period between 40 to 44 years. You can choose to start performing a mammogram annually, and you should also talk to your doctor about the benefits and harms of using mammography at such an age. The age period between 45 to 54 years, there are recommendations indicating the importance of performing a mammogram annually in this age period. Age 55 years or more, at this age, a mammogram is recommended every two years, and it may be chosen annually as well. Preventing breast cancer for women who are most at risk of developing it. The level of risk of breast cancer is determined according to several factors, such as family history, age, and genetic test results. Usually a person is advised to see a genetic testing specialist when it is believed that the risk of breast cancer has increased. BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes, and a family history of breast cancer, indicate a high risk of developing it, and in this case the solution may be to take more severe preventive measures, as this should be discussed with medical care professionals. Close monitoring It is recommended to see the doctor more frequently, every 6 to 12 months, to perform the examinations, and some doctors also recommend that the individual be subjected to close monitoring in the event of a high risk of breast cancer in the event that he does not want to undergo surgery or use drugs, and although this method does not reduce the risk breast cancer, as it may help to detect it early, and thus ease its treatment, and close monitoring can be achieved in several ways, including, starting breast cancer screening examinations at an early age using mammograms annually, with the possibility of adding another test to detect breast cancer such as using imaging breast magnetic resonance, and continuous risk assessment, which may be by visiting him every 6 to 12 months. Preventive chemotherapy Preventive chemotherapy can be defined as a group of drugs that reduce the risk of breast cancer in women who have a high chance of developing the disease, by preventing the effect of the estrogen hormone in the body, and in this area the drugs raloxifene and tamoxifen have been approved for use. In reducing the chance of breast cancer for specific groups of women, the drug raloxifene is used to reduce the risk of breast cancer in women who suffer from osteoporosis in the postmenopausal period, or in postmenopausal women who have a higher chance of developing breast cancer, and on the other hand. Tamoxifen is used to reduce the risk of breast cancer in women who have a high risk of developing the disease, and this includes women who have a high risk of developing the disease before menopause as well, and in addition to these two drugs there are a number of other medicines, 
such as aromatase inhibitors, which may be an option for postmenopausal women in order to reduce the chance of breast cancer, and before using these drugs it is necessary to draw attention to the importance of awareness complete all the risks and side effects that accompany their use, and know the desired benefits from them.